Hello everybody, this is Alap Raju. I'm a singer and bass player based out of Chennai. And I'm also an owner of a commercial recording studio called Wise and Vision Studios in Chennai again. And I'm in one of the vocal booths uh, to tell you, to share my excitement uh, of my uh, new acquisition with world-renowned Galleon Kroger bass amps and cabinets. And I would like to uh, thank Four Musicals who are the distributors of Galleon Kruger in India. Uh, I got this rig yesterday only, so I'm super excited. I just got it connected. And I can't tell you how excited I am because of the fact that this is my first ever serious rig. I've never owned an amp before this. Uh, so I did quite a lot of study on these two. And uh, as you see, this is a Galleon Kruger head. This is called the 700 RB Mark II. Uh, the killer features on these are one is to me that is one is the direct out which is very useful on any situation be it uh, recording or live uh, because one is you're going to hear what you want to dial in on the cabinet of course but the other is to give what the sound engineer needs be it on a live environment or recording scenario so you actually give a direct out directly from the amp head and you can use all the equalizations or the voicing settings on this and you can press the post EQ option on this which is right here in fact uh, if you want to have a close-up of this you can just go type uh, uh, 700 RB mark 2 in Google and you will hear all the uh, you, you can see all the the nitty-gritties of what the head says coming back so the first section is the direct out you have a ground lift which is which all of us know a, a direct DI box can have a ground lift if you have the ground lift noise so that you can eliminate with this then you have the post EQ option so if you want to incorporate all these lovely four band EQ or the voicing filters that you have on this then you can give a post EQ which means your bass will go into the head and you can equalize all your sound hearing on this and you can actually adapt the same sound back to your FOH but the brilliant option is whatever volume that you adjust on the head is not going to affect the FOH volume because you have a separate level to me that's like a killer deal so you can give the Gallium Kruger power to your console mixing console with, uh, with individual volume so that's a very good option then moving on to the input section you have input jack which is quarter inch then you have a 14 db pad which is for sh uh, shifting between active and passive bases because passive bases tend to have less hotter output so based on the switching you get that much more output so if you have passive base you put you disengage the 14 db pad so you get 14 db of additional in, uh, input gain Whereas uh, now I'm currently running a GNL Tribute 2500, which is an active base, which runs on a 9 volt battery and it's a 2 amp, a 2 uh, band EQ circuit. So I have the 14 dB pad engaged because it's already giving a lot of output. Then I'm going to the tuning mute, which is a very useful option. So you mute this, but the tuner output, which is here, if you're connected to another external tuner, you will still be able to tune it, but it will uh, the output will be mute. Even the DI and uh, the cab out will be mute, which is a killer option. Then the volume uh, knob, which is uh, pertaining to only this and not the DI. As I said, we already have an individual dedicated knob for the DI. So for the cab, this is the volume knob. Then you have voicing filter. This is more like a pre-EQ shape. The, you have two options. One is a contour. So you kind of get the scoopish kind of a sound, which is great for slap and whatnot. And the presence is, as we all know, it's just a kind of a pre eq curve in the high end somewhere. I don't know, some 10K, something like that. Then you have a very nice feature called four string and five string. So when you are on five string mode, which most of us are in now, the five string world, you have that low end clarity a little more as opposed to the four string mode. So when you are beefing up on the fifth string and if you are on the five string mode, you get much, uh, much more depth in the five string, which is a low B. Then you go to the active equalization circuit, which is a four band. You have treble, high mid, low mid and bass. We all know what that means. So you can, you have tons of options. And the beauty of this equalization is you max out everything all the way to five o'clock. It still sounds musical, which is, which is killer, which means all the way from flat, from minus to all the way plus is musical and still usable so which is which is which is lovely so you are you are you have a very producer friendly head gear then you have the most sort of feature in this amp which is the bi amp output now in short the bi amp is basically splitting a signal to a crossover 
so the low end is coming through the 15 inch and the high end is coming through the horn which is on the right top which to me is like the real deal and you hear most most often what happens is if your bass by default like say a music man or something we all know the music man bass i'm just giving you a rough example it is it's known for its high end but sometimes what happens some cabs might not produce that high end and in turn you end up cranking them so much high end and in case that head has a direct out then you're getting a very cranked up high end in an foh which is not actually what is there what you're hearing so the bi amp lets you hear the high end also equally as important as the low end and you have individual uh, high cut on each so you can have a high cut uh, on the tweeter which is the horn and you can have an individual high cut on the woofer which is a 15 inch and you have a boost option for both to me like like that that's a full spectrum of bass you know so what i figured is when you have a rig like this you tend to clean up your playing more because you are hearing every little nuances you know it's just not the note but it's also the noise the crackling noise all the quirks and all that between the notes so you tend to clean up your playing which is going to make you feel happy in the long run because you're going to be a very clean and solid bass player which is what all of us are desired to be then comes the patch bay which is just an fx and return so if you want to run any effects like time based effect and not front of the amp fl kit like distortion or octave but i'm talking about time based effects like reverb delay modulation chorus flanger phaser and all that you can run it through this so what happens is your your uh, time based effects like what are the effects i just mentioned is not going to come ahead of your uh, bass volume it's going to process everything and we all know what that means right so it's not going to affect the fundamental tone so you have that option as well which is great so that's applied to the cab and the di out which is brilliant talking about the bass coming through this 15 inch monster it's unbelievable i'll just give you a sustain of all the notes just check it out the g string like rings forever man with clarity mind you I can hear this clarity and this bass is a very aggressive bass but it is just not the high end or the low end but it's the mid range also it's so full and you're so inspired when you have a cab when you have a rig you know end of the day we all are here to make music so you need to be inspired i'm so inspired to keep playing so it's really nice just check out all these transients you know so when you are playing some percussive stuff like the slap <laughs> So if you're, you're doing all the percussive stuff, you can hear all the transients, you can hear the attack immediately. It's so pristine. It's unbelievable. In fact, these are all very old strings. I changed strings say around four or five months back, and it still sounds fresh and full. And even the harmonics are very clear in this. Sorry, if I might sound non-musical, but the point is like when you're noodling around, you're able to hear everything. You know, it is just not the low end. As I keep repeating, it is a full spectrum. And as a bass player, I would like to work on each section: high end, the mid end, and the low end, because 
the music the modern music is such so we would like to cater to that but as i said all the slap pop everything is like right there but if you want to play like a mellow down like more tone stuff what you can do is you can just cut down on the tweeter so the tweeter horn is off it's just the woofer so you can do like So this rig is all tone, all flexibility, all in all practicality, and the most important thing, you can cart around, man. It's not as heavy as it looks, but it's extremely durable. Look at these handles; they're extremely durable and tough. I've lifted this by myself when I put it out of the carton box, so this is not that heavy. It fits into my boot. I can, I can, rig, uh, I can um, rack mount this, so I can put it on my studio console, or I can just carry it around for any gig and the rehearsal so this rig is worth every penny and it's it's a, a must have rig i would say and especially for me i'm so excited to have my first professional rig and hopefully i'm going to have a longer run uh, with this rig and learn more and keep learning more keep inspired and keep playing good music so i'm super excited <laughs> So this is the tweeter cut. I'm bringing back the tweeter. Listen to the actual sound of the bass. Now it's kicking in. Yeah. out.